What a comedy of errors. And so we are here at the beach. And I've been struggling valiantly to coyote, wily coyote arrow. And then I was going to also do this today, uh, testing in a 10 mile an hour headwind, 10 miles an hour steady with some gusts, an aluminum arrow versus a wooden one that flew pretty good yesterday. And so my first shot of the wily coyote arrow was actually a couple of days ago. And you ever wonder if things are just cursed? Sometimes I do. So I set up the camera, fired it off. Everything worked really nicely, boom. Went and grabbed my camera phone, or my cell phone, dropped it on a rock. Right now, as I'm looking at me, there's a word, the screen broke, and then spider webs. I broke the screen. Okay, stuff happens. Then I went to see the video and it cut out. It just stopped right when I shot. So I didn't get a walking to the towards the free bird seed sign. So it's like whatever. I'll just rebuild my arrow, glue it back. The nose cone was damaged. Glue the fins back on. I'll just do it again. Big deal. And so I just did it again and I didn't put apparently enough glue on it. This wasn't from landing. This was the shock of launch. I just see this thing going back, eating up energy. Kind of where it landed before. Not going to say here or there, but it, it ate up energy just self-destructing on launch. So I'm going to rebuild it, more glue, and then do it again. And I just flight shot these two. It's like, yeah, 194 yards with the aluminum one and about 150 with the wooden one and again there's a, a breeze so if it was dead dead air this aluminum one would have dusted 200 yards and so i figure you know what i'm just going to do it again because i want to get the arrows more in line with the target instead of looking around in the rocks and stuff like that so i deleted the video which was stupid and then went to set it up again and as soon as i went to put this arrow on the string, I noticed when it hit the rock, it broke the knockoff. But it's a beautiful day. <laughs> I can laugh at myself. But I'm going to rebuild that Wiley Coyote arrow, I promise. And come hell or high water, I'm going to put enough glue on that thing so when I fire it off, the mass of that nose is not going to come back. It'll stay on. And... I'm going to put a new knock on this. I'm going to do the whole thing over again if it's not raining um, and if it's not 50 mile an hour breeze in my face. Because that was quite impressive. The difference in flight between this aluminum arrow, which is heavier, and that cedar arrow. I mean, you need to see this. It was amazing. It was uh, almost 50 yards farther with the aluminum arrow. Daniel, you're right. I should also, why not? In for a penny, in for a pound. I'm going to put together a carbon arrow too, and a, the skinny shaft carbons. I don't think I have any of the, the wider ones left. Those are beautiful arrows, by the way. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we're going to do it again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's the American way. Seriously, you just need to laugh at yourself. But anyway, appreciate your viewership. Have a good one. Have a great day. And the next bow you should make should be one of these things. I think, how can I deprive the world of these things? I might make a couple of these exactly like that, different paint schemes, of course, and sell them because they're marvelous. There's no reason to have anything else but this bow. I shouldn't say that because I love my paddle bows and other ones I make. I'm just currently enthralled by this little sinew back red oak and mostly because up till a couple months ago or whenever I fixed it this was just a dead hang on the wall decoration and the Gorilla glue and the massy finish turned this into the angels are singing I'm not gonna say make me an offer on it because everything has a price um anyway have a, you have a you have a good one and don't watch too many YouTube videos that just make your blood boil I'm good at that this morning 
I'm going to shut up now before I start ranting. Seriously.